Welcome back to the channel, the number one place to start your natural journey while embracing a natural lifestyle full of self-love, confidence, and determination. In today's video, I am jumping right in giving you guys my top five natural deodorants of 2020. Let's get it. All right, so let me start off by letting you all know that every deodorant that I will be mentioning today is all natural. I'll be counting down from five, going all the way to my number one pick. I think all of them are really great and there are way more deodorants than five that I have tried, but I've narrowed it down to five deodorants that I feel like need to be on this list. So without further ado, let's go ahead with number five, Myro. And I hope I'm pronouncing it right. If I'm not, mm, oh well. Myro is a, is a natural deodorant that I have tried recently. I wanna show you guys. You can clear this up. This deodorant is gluten-free, soy-free, and mineral-free. The thing that I really like about this de deodorant is the, the pod, is what they call it, is pretty cool. Like, the shape of it is cool. It smells really, really good. It comes in multiple scents. Myro is eco-friendly with refillable packets. So basically once you have used the deodorant up, let me scroll. Once you use it up, I've never, I haven't taken the pack out, but this part comes out and then you pop in another one. So I think that that's really cool for the environment. You know, it's pretty awesome. The one downside of this deodorant, which is a really big downside, is it's very, very, very messy. It's messy to apply it because the, the consistency and texture, it's very creamy. I do like it. There we go, you guys can see. So it's really, really, really creamy. Um, and I do like that, like I like the consistency of it. The only thing is that when you apply this like a normal deodorant, it's messy because it's not like a normal stick. So if you're making a transition and you're used to applying deodorant like you would apply a stick of Dove, it's gonna throw you off because it's like cream. So the way that I do it to create less of a mess is I actually take a little off the top and I just rub it in. But because of that, that is why it's my number five because out of all of the deodorants that are on this list to me, this is the messiest of all of them. So this deodorant is $10. Most natural deodorants are around that price range. Typically what I've seen between like nine and $13, I think, is around the, the price range. The pod refills are also $10. And, and if you're purchasing Myro from the website, there isn't any free shipping. Shipping is $5, and I also don't like that because we like free shipping over here, okay? So if anybody from Myro is watching this, some kind of way I need to figure out how to offer free shipping. Yes. The one plus side of it is that Myro is available in Target, and that's actually where I purchased it. It was also still $10 in Target. My fourth pick is Sway Detox Deodorant. So I feel like Sway is great for beginners, uh, especially since I want to encourage people that have never tried a natural deodorant to test it out. Because when you have been using deodorant that has aluminum in it, harsh chemicals, your underarms are gonna go through a detox. Because basically you are suppressing what is naturally supposed to happen. Like you're naturally supposed to sweat. So you're basically putting deodorant on and that's counteracting what's naturally supposed to happen within your body. So your body is gonna go through a detox period. So I actually purchased their detox kit. Now, mind you, the time that I purchased this kit, I had already been using natural deodorant for years, but I did wanna test this kit out. The kit itself was $35. I feel like it's really, really great for beginners. This deodorant is a rollerball. So I mean, if you don't like rollerball deodorants, then you may not like uh, Sway, but roll ball doesn't bother me. Liquid deodorants doesn't bother me. I actually like them and I don't have a problem just, you know, doing like this a little bit to let my underarms dry. And like you literally can put your deodorant on, let your underarms dry while you're like applying your makeup. So it's no sweat for me. Um, but this deodorant, I wasn't that fond of the smell. It smells very earthy and like, trees and leaves like you just literally like you're just like living on the land like that's kind of how it smells to me 
Uh, I do believe it's made with vinegar or apple cider vinegar is one of the ingredients, but I might be lying. I'm not, I can't really remember. But yeah, it is made with apple cider vinegar. I'm right. The cost of Sway is um, $17 and that includes the this bottle plus the dusting powder. So it's, it is kind of expensive, right? But I, I got the kit, um, I can't remember what else came with my kit, but that was $35 for that. And I will say like it is, it is a more expensive deodorant, but it does last all day. Um, it definitely works. Sweat is aluminum free, of course. It is water-based and it does not have starchy ingredients, which that typically leads to stain. So it is stain free. I think all of the deodorants that I will be mentioning today have subscriptions. So that is an option for you to subscribe. I don't really go into details about that because I just don't, I just don't believe in like it's just too much. Everybody has a subscription and it's just too much for me. So I'm not gonna talk about that, but you can of course check out their website if you are interested in actually just subscribing. If you are interested in trying out Sway, one, check out my video where I did review the very first time I used Sway. I will leave a card up above. Also check out Sway's website because I do have a discount code for you if you are interested in, in trying out Sway. My discount coupon is going to be Located in my description, it is Sunshine Shop would be the code and you will receive 15% off your purchase. All of the products that I'm talking about today, I am gonna leave it in my description, of course, if you are interested in trying out anything. Moving right along to deodorants number three. So this is my number three pick and this is actually the very first deodorant I ever tried, which was many years ago now. But my number three pick is Native Deodorant. Native will always have a special place in my heart. I use Native for, actually I used Native for over a year before I even, maybe like a year and a half, or close to even two years before I even tried another deodorant. So that showed you that I had to be really pleased with their deodorant. Native has a lot of different options. And now that I've taken a look at their website, they have really upgraded over the years. Like I was, I was messing with Native when didn't nobody know what Native was. Now Native, you can get it inside of Target. Now Native actually offers body wash, bar soap, and toothpaste. They were not selling all of that when I first um, started using Native. So definitely they came from humble beginnings, but kudos to um, Rachel. So Native is very similar to deodorants as far as the packaging and how it's made like other deodorants as Dove and Secret and whatever else that has harsh chemicals in it. Yes, it looks just, it looks just like that. So it is a normal bar, which I consider these to be normal bars because this is what we grew up on. Like, I don't know anybody that didn't grow up on deodorant that looked like this in a tube like this. I wish it would focus, but yes, Native smells so good. And out of any deodorant that I am going to talk about today, I feel like this deodorant is going to be the easiest to apply. So very easy application because it's what you're already used to. If you were to purchase one bar, it would be $12. So kind of pricey. When I used to wear Native, I used to actually get the package which you would get three bars for $30. So that was $10 a bar. And I believe they still offer that pack. You also get free standard shipping if you spend $30 or more, and they also offer free returns. But again, Native is available in Target. So if you have a Target near you, then you don't even have to worry about all that shipping stuff. You can just go to the Target and pick it up. All right, moving on along to my number two natural deodorant, which is Type A. I really fell in love with this deodorant. This is my original, <laughs> my original tube that I got. As you can see, like I don't have much left of it. Type A is a cream deodorant, which it comes out like this. Let's see, it's a cream deodorant. Oh, it's kind of like lotion for your underarms, but it's very easy to apply. Um, I just, I just push out a little bit and then just rub it under each arm, just like if it was a bar of deodorant. They come in really, really great scents. Each tube costs $10. They also offer a subscription and they also offer sets, which if you were to do their set of three, it's $27. So that's actually $3 less than native. So 
as we moving on down to my number one, you can see how the prices are getting lower. You know what I'm saying? You do get free standard shipping if you spend more than $30. And that part I don't like about it because each one of the, if you were to get the three pack, that's $27. So that means you gotta buy something else to get it over $30 to get the free shipping. Y'all think y'all slick. Y'all need to do better. But anyways, they also offer free returns, so that is also great. And if you're interested in testing out Type A, first check out my very first review of Type A, card up above. We'll leave their, their website in my description. And if you're like, yes, I wanna go ahead and purchase Type A, I do have a 20% off link in my description. So you can receive 20% off your very first purchase. I'm out here trying to get y'all these discounts. Y'all better go ahead and use these codes I got and get y'all naturalized together. And now, for the moment we've all been waiting for, my number one natural deodorant is lime juice. Yes, that is right. That is my number one natural deodorant. Hands down, the best. I know you guys are probably surprised, but yep, that is 2020, it is a whole mood. Out of every deodorant I tried last year, or actually every natural deodorant I tried in my entire life, lime juice has everything beat. Key limes have been the most effective out of any deodorant. And of course it's all natural because the only ingredient is key lime. So check out my key lime natural deodorant review. Again, card up above because that was my very first time trying it and I have been using that deodorant consistently. To be honest with you, I actually don't even really have to use deodorant and I don't apply deodorant every day when I use my lime juice. And I don't stink. It completely eliminates all odor. And it was really shocking like the how great it actually worked. One, it's the cheapest. I buy a bag of key limes from Walmart, which totals to be like $2. That bag is gonna last you for a while. So when you take a look at my video of my first time trying out lime juice, you'll see that I actually apply the lime juice by cutting the limes into slices and then applying the slices to my um, underarms. But I don't do that no more. I upgraded myself. You feel me? So now, the way I apply my lime juice, bam, 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 bam. That's right. I went on to Amazon and purchased these rollerball containers. And as you can see, all I do, squeeze out all of the juice out of the limes and put the juice into my roller ball, and then I roll a ball that lime juice right underneath my underarms and I'm fresh all day, all night. I'm fresh the next day, I'm fresh the day after that. By day three and a half, maybe I'm a little, but I mean, where are you getting, what deodorant keep you fresh for three plus days? Like, where are you getting that at? Not in no store. So come through. Key limes, specifically use key limes, and key limes have a stronger aroma than um, other limes. That's the reason why I use key limes. And then be mindful too, if you do have sensitive skin, test it out, um, you know, maybe test it on one underarm, um, but I haven't had any issues, and I do have sensitive skin, but key lime juice has not caused me any irritation. One downside I would have to mention is that you have to keep this refrigerated. Of course, it's juice, and well, at least I think you have to keep it refrigerated. I want to assume that it would spoil. So I keep mine in the refrigerator just to make sure that it doesn't go bad. And because I do that, when I apply it, it's really cold. So that's the only thing that I just don't like about it. But other than that, like, I don't want to stink. So I can deal with a little bit of cold. And then in the summertime, it's going to be great. This natural journey has been amazing. And you really find out a lot about your body because as you're transitioning from using deodorants with harsh chemicals in it, your body is gonna let you know. Like all of those smells and stuff like that is gonna come out. I don't get musty at all now. Like even when there is an odor that is coming from my body, it isn't must. So that lets you know like you're musty because of the chemicals that are in the deodorant because they're, com they're combating with your, your um, natural body odor. And that's why you smell like onions. Sha don't smell like no onions. Sha barely smell like anything. 
when it's day three, I just got a little, you know, a little, but I'm not smelling like a billy goat. I'm not smelling like I haven't taken a bath in 10 years. No, that's not my story. So if you're trying to be about that life in 2020, give it a try. It's the cheaper of all of the options. But if that's just too natural for you, check out one of the other four options that I did offer to you all. I hope the information that I shared to you today was beneficial. And if you thought it was, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. It does help out my channel every like that I get. So please, please, please like this video and share this with others in the natural community that are trying to live a more natural lifestyle. That will help you promote my videos to newer audiences. And that's all I'm trying to do is continuously share all the information that I have with new audiences that are interested in learning. As always, I'm a little different and different is love. See y'all in the next video. We out this piece.